Alright guys, we're heading, we're in uh, South Beach, Florida. Listen, South Beach, Miami, I should say. We're gonna go into Ross. We haven't been to Ross in forever. We're gonna go and see if we can find any clearance deals or any deals at all that we can find in this place. Um, ton of stores here. There's actually a TJ Maxx right next door. Might do a second video for that. But right now, I think we're heading into Ross. Everything is so jumbled in this place, man. I think it's upstairs. Let's go upstairs and see what we can find. All right, gang, I'm gonna get a part two we can find in this place. So Ross is definitely that type of place where I go to check out uh, toys first, and then once I look at toys at Christmas time, this Ross is popping. Like Ross on South Beach on Christmas, they have tables all in the middle. I mean, it's like a humongous amount of toys. Um, obviously, it's not Christmas time yet. So we're gonna go into the toy aisle here, see if we can find any clearance deals, any yellow tag, red tags, anything we can find. Let's start here. I love the Sonic toys, man. The Sonic toys always seem to get good profit. I don't see a tag out though, $19.99 way too expensive. Ross has definitely come up on their prices. So, um, this is $20. It's probably going to be a no. Uh, what's this? Bronzer, I don't know if they have that there. This here. I want to find clearance items, man. But, we're in Miami, so $7.99. Let's scan this one. We're going to scan these two Sonic items first to see if we can bring back some profit. So this here, $13.86, $6.79, not going to make anything there. A lot of places you're not going to find, especially like in places like Miami, you're just not going to find those deals yet, but we could. So that's what we're trying to find. Let's see. They used to have like clearance sections and stuff like that. Like sometimes the, the one thing to pay attention to in Ross is sometimes you can find mismarks. So a lot of times Ross will price their items incorrectly in your favor. Uh, for instance, if you know something goes for like 20 bucks, they could mark it for $7.99 because it's a mistake. Usually it's a mistake. I mean, I doubt they want to get rid of things. Yo, shout out to the shitty ass iPhone, man. Do you, does your iPhone do this? Ready? Like what? Separately, not going to be any dice. This is $14.99. Minecraft. We might not find anything. We have to see. 2084. Nada. We got some Sonic figures over here. We got cream. What's this? This one's $5.99. Usually these are $10 in the store. So if you're even looking for gifts or something, $5.99 for a Sonic figure is actually really good. $18.95. Look, that's a dinner. Winner winner chicken dinner. It's not a lot of profit, but it's a great rank. Normally I would I would pull something like that. The fees are so much FBA. I need to see if this is worth it. FBM. We'll change it from Amazon fulfillment because the Amazon just keeps going up on their fees. So my fulfillment is less than a pound, so it's it's probably going to be you know seven eight dollars shipping uh, cost. We're going to put five ninety nine. Oh, this app is so. Um, not efficient. Ten dollars twelve cents with the shipping. I mean, without the shipping. So it's honestly, you're probably better off shipping it via FBA. But I'm not gonna pull the trigger. There's not enough meat on the bones for that. Let me see this here. We got a Lapras. How much they want for the Lapras? See, this is this is on the dumb shit. This is when you're better off going to Target sometimes. Twenty four ninety nine. It's not. Um, this kid is dying to get over here. Super Friends, let me see, $14.99. We can scan it, but it's probably not going to bring back a lot of things. $20.80. 
Not enough meat on the bones. Dragon Ball Z figures, $14.99. So I like checking the Yu Yu Hakusho. It's really fucking hot in this store, bro. These places don't put on air conditioning. It's wild. Like, I'm literally sweating. Like, put your air... We're in Miami, bro. Like, put that shit on, bro. What's the matter with you? We got some jailbreak Roblox figures, I think. Like, yo, look. Like, we're glistening, man. We're glistening. That's how hot it is in here. It's hot. I like Dragon Ball Z figures, but I'd like to see, like, some exclusives in here. Moon Knight? How much did they want for Moon Knight? There's no price on here, but it says $3.99. So I'm going to assume, like, that one says $3.99. I'm going to assume this is $3.99. So one, one thing you can do in Ross is if you see something without a price tag, if you take something similar up there, usually they'll they'll honor the price. You can make a little bit of profit on this one, FBA, right? Moon Knight's pretty popular. Um, they have Nova, Iron Man over here. These are the old school Iron Man stuff. We can scan that to see if it's more. It's all about like what figure you get. See, they're going for $9.99 too, but like, what's this? I don't even know what this is. This says Dragon Ball Flash. I don't know what that is. It's not coming up. Apparently, they don't know what it is either. <laughs> Let me see. Look at this. What is this? What is this? Five piece action figure anime character toys. So this is a five piece. Not to be confused with a six piece. It says Dragon Ball, Dragon Ball Flash, Dragon Ball Flash. I don't know what that means, but Dragon Ball Flash. Okay. Let me see. Donatello, nine ninety nine. They got Mario Kart. Like a lot of the shit you can't find in stores anymore. That was discontinued. Three ninety nine for the Yoshi, Super Mario Kart, and people collect these. You have to understand. If you have to understand subject matter. That, I, I talk about it all the time. I preach it. Subject matter. You have to understand what people are looking to collect and save and keep. Not much profit on that. Once you understand that, your sourcing will be a lot easier. This doesn't want to scan this because the, the, I don't know if it's the iPhone or the app on the iPhone. It's just, it's crazy. Looks like this is going for $27.90. This is, looks like an old school holiday Look at all the fees on that, though. You, you ain't going to make shit for that, bro. Might as well leave it. Might as well leave it. Monster Jam, is it $5.99? It is. All right, let's check out Monster Jam. Because, again, Monster Jam brings back its good subject matter. $14.99. We can get it for $5.99. You can squeak out a little bit of profit there. A little bit of profit. If your margins are good, you can, you can squeak out a little bit of profit there, depending on what you're shipping out. But you can make profit. It's a dinner right there. Not a double up. But a dinner. Ninja Turtles. I keep seeing these Ninja Turtles. $7.99. I'm not sure if they... So in Ross, honestly, yeah, it's not gonna, that's not going to bring back anything. In Ross, I like clothing. I like bags. I like hats. I like lunch boxes. But I also like, I like clearance. You know what I'm saying? And a lot of this stuff is not on clearance because we are in July... Well, actually, we're in August. That's not all the toys, right? There's a little bit more toys. Wow, what a small... They must have shrunk this. See, the last time I was here was uh, was Christmas... Two Christmases ago. Not last Christmas, but the Christmas before that. Let me see. $15.99. $7.99. We got some Coco Melon playset. It's not coming up with the UPC. We got some Mickey tractor over there. I don't even know if Coco Melon is good, good subject matter anymore. Well, look at that though. That's going for fifty-two bucks. Can we get the swing set though? That's what we need. Let me scan it one more time. See if we can get an image of it. No, 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 no. Let me see Mickey's tractor. Yo, my man is mad dramatic over there next aisle over. Twenty-seven fifty-eight. Here we go. Look at that. Look at that. That could be a dinner. What do they want for it though? That is the question. Can we get this for $5.99? So they want $9.99. How much? How much? 
So you can make $5.48 on this. Right, make sure the numbers work for you, right? But look at Mickey Barnyard Fun Tractor. If you want to pick that up, that's a dinner right there. Is that a urinal? That is not a urinal. Yo, I thought that was like a play urinal. It is. You put. I can't, bro. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> that's wild. That's wild. Bluey place. That's I me. Mean, we were getting these for $10. $14.99 now, but we were getting them for $10 and we were flipping them for $35. Um, check your Ross. I've also noticed that sometimes in Ross, bro, sometimes, man, like, look, look the fucking AC's not even on, bro. The shit's not even on, bro. Can we turn it on? Oh, it says water full. Bro, can we turn this shit on? That's why it's so goddamn hot in here. They don't even have the AC going. <sighs> All right, let me check it out. We got some. Where is the clearance? That's what I want to know. $9.99, I'm not even going to scan that. It's not going to be worth it. I want to see where the clearance stuff is. It doesn't look like they have any clearance toys at all at this location. Monster High, $14.99. I mean, maybe. If it's discontinued and it's going for like a higher price, maybe this is good. Let's see, $28.99. That has to come in at $9.99. See, $14.99 is too close. You're not going to make nothing. You can make a couple bucks, but you're not going to make anything unless you send like a mega shipment in. Let me see, $14.99. Disney Princess. This one's not even coming up with the barcode. We're going to do a little picture. Look, look. Look at the iPhone, man. I, I can't. Let me see. Uh, it's coming in at $19.99. This one says Disney. This one's coming at $38.99. Is that the same? My friend Snow White? My friend Snow White. Okay, that's a $10 profit. But is this one the same? So this one... Let me see. Does this one have... Is this one the same? This one's a little different. This is a little different, this one. It looks like it's dressed a little different. This one looks like it's the listing ring. $309 in toys. Okay. That's a dinner right there. $10 profit. You want that. That's good. That's what we're talking. Even though it's $14.99, right? We don't like the price, but you can still make $10 on that. We can take it a step further, load it into, since we can't scan it, we can load it into Seller Ramp. We're going to load it into Seller Ramp. And we're, I just want to look at the Keepa. I just want to look at some of the metrics that Amazon doesn't show you. And you would think in 2024, Amazon would, uh, you know, help its sellers, but they don't like, I mean, I'm telling you, they don't like third party sellers, man. Max, it's top 4%, so the rank is a little high, which is what I was thinking. It sells okay, but there's only two people on the listing. So, I mean, to tell you the truth, I mean, it's good subject matter. It's Disney. It's Snow White. You're going to, you're going to, uh, you're going to sell it. It's going to, it's going to sell. I keep saying it. I'm sorry, but it's, it's fucking hot, bro. For if any, like Ross, like, come on, man. I know you discounted, but Jesus. 38.49. This is probably three top three percent. I'd have to see. I have to see if this is. It's too high, bro. Too high. Too high. Not feeling the toys here, man. Except for that one Snow White up there. I'm not feeling it. Let me see Frozen. We got Elsa, which is the same brand as that Snow White. Elsa comes up. You're not gonna make nearly as much as Snow White because Snow White's the OG. Let's take a look to see if we can find some clothing or something. See if we can find any Nike socks. I'm not sure if, if Ross sells Nike socks. They have Puma, Tommy Hilfiger. We want Nike socks though. I don't even see any clearance signs here in the clothing. We got Nike here, $8.99. Okay, let's scan it. $8.99. Yep, and in good fashion, Nike hasn't been coming up lately. Uh, let's see if we can get an image scan on it. We've got some Jordan socks over there too we can scan. Here they are, right here, $18. So you can make three, a little more than $3 profit. It's a decent rank. It's Nike. You always want Nike socks, for sure. Uh, Jordan socks over here. These are coming up $30. And, and it's crazy, because we could sell Jordan, and now we're regated in Jordan. Isn't that crazy, bro? Isn't that crazy? And it's, it's capital Jordan, that's why. So I'm ungated in lowercase J-O-R-D-A-N, but this because this is uppercase, that's why I'm gated. That's how, that's how, that's how dumb Walmart has become. Walmart, fuck. <laughs> Amazon, that's how dumb Amazon has become. 
right, we got some we got some other Nike socks over here that we see. Eight ninety nine. You know, we need twenty five dollar price ranges. That's what we need. Twenty two. These are eight ninety nine. Look at the fees on socks, bro. It doesn't cost it doesn't cost that much to sell socks. It just doesn't. To mail socks, rather. A lot of times, I feel like these fees are just not not correct. Here we go. There's some normal socks right here. These are normal white and gray socks. $17.99. That's not worth it unless these are on clearance. And then these ones are all black socks, youth socks. $18, but they're $8.99. I mean, that's higher price. Yeah, see? You can come out with a little bit of profit, but you'd have to buy a lot of them. To ship out a lot of these, you'd have to buy a lot of them. You know? You would have to. Let me see if we can go down any of these aisles. The problem is I'm not I'm not seeing any clearance at Ross. That's the problem. There's no clearance tags anywhere. This AC is working right here. Ooh, that feels good, boy. That feels good. It's hot as hell in here, man. Right, we're in the adult section. I want to see. Look at like look. <laughs> How skinny these aisles are, man. This is wild. Thirteen ninety nine clearance. True Religion. You know, I I've had a little bit of luck with True Religion merchandise, but True Religion isn't the same as True Religion it used to be back in the day. You know, it's not really a um, sought after brand. It's mostly like you want to look for like the Nike, Adidas, the Under Armour. That type of stuff, like what's this Hurley? Sometimes Hurley. I've sold a lot of Hurley. So here we go. Some Nike T-shirts here. It's eleven ninety-nine for the Nike T-shirts. I know a lot of you are gated and can't get ungated now in Nike, which is unfortunate. Hopefully that that red restricted doesn't last long. But look, that's another dinner. That's another dinner. We can scan it with Celeramp just to see. Right, because 600,000 seems like it's a high rank, uh, but when you, what's going on? But when you, um, when you see the category, you understand it's, it might not be that high. Look, 600,000, but it's still top 1% of apparel, right? So it sells 15 a month, maximum cost is 11.84. This is 11.99, so it's kind of right around there. The Keep a graph is showing you that it is, uh, it is selling. So this is something you'd probably want to pick up, right? You don't want to, these guys are FBMing at that price. I'm not sure why they're not matching at least FBA. I know they probably have to come down to compete, but don't compete with those guys. You want to send this FBA all day. Look at the low price, $29.99. So you're going to make $6 profit. And look, they have one, two, three, four. Well, this one's a little different, $11.99. A little different, so we might we might come back and get those. Uh, let's continue to see what else we can find in here. Another black Nike top. This one is eleven ninety nine. Let's scan it to see. Yep, and it's coming up twenty eight fourteen. Another dinner. Like it makes you wonder why are the fees less on this t shirt than that t shirt, the gray one? Because probably. You know, the Amazon's got their, their shit all crazy and nobody wants to fix these fees. But look at that. That's almost a double up right there. On this black tee, that's $11.99. Okay? You want to look in the apparel. Look, white tee, right? We did gray, we did black, and now we'll do white. All three have been dinners. And of course, the white is a dinner too. Uh, less out of the all three, but better rank, but a less less profit. But look, see? $29, but how come it's substantially less? You know, two two and some change less in profit. You know, so that's a dinner too. Make sure, you you know, you might be gated in Nike or you might not be. You know, scan the items in the clothing that you can sell. Uh, other brands that you can sell if you can't sell Nike, like uh, Nautica. Nautica, Tommy Hilfiger, if you're ungated in those, just scan everything. You don't know what you're gonna be ungated, Carhartt, I'm actually gated in Carhartt. I can't sell that. Um, so yeah, so that's that, right? And let's just go down here. Let's go down to the to the sandals. 
because I like to see if there's any Nike slides uh, or Adidas slides. I've had a lot of good luck with Adidas slides. I don't do the sneakers outside of a box. They have to be in a box. Sometimes I did, damn son. It's a big ass foot right there, bro. Size 18, bro. That shit's like the size of my fucking leg, bro. Look at this shit, bro. They're like size, yo. That's like a, that's like a 14 to 16 inch. Poof, yo. These are Nike slides, but these are like team based. So Nike makes them, but I don't see any brands over there. Let me check. Uh, I, I just don't see Clarence tags. I mean, luckily we're able to find some profits um, with full price items. Like this had $16.99, but it just, it's just not gonna, I mean, I'm not even gonna bother scanning it. $16.99 is, is, is trash. I don't see any reduced price, any Clarence on any of these hats. Columbia, nothing. Let's see if they have any Nike socks, adult Nike socks. It's $10.99. Like, that's a high price, bro. TJ Maxx is a lot cheaper than that. You know what I mean? TJ Maxx is a lot cheaper than that. Adidas $9.99. Nike $6.99 for two pairs. Ross is high, man. Ross has come up on their prices. You're better off. You might be better off going to Burlington and TJ Maxx because the profit just isn't there. See, I love, what I liked about Ross is they always had bags on sale, but $29.99 from $40, that's not a Ross price. That's not like a good, that's not a good price. $60, this is probably going to be like, what, $29.99? It's a joke, man. It is a joke. It's unfortunate. I mean, you can still find some dinners. You know, we ain't here to cry about it, but $24.99 for the Nike you know, I don't. I just don't see any. I don't see any Clarence tags on anything. So you, you get full price Nike at fourteen ninety nine. It's it's just not worth it. Honestly, I think that's it. I haven't been into a Ross in a while. This is probably why. But I wanted to kind of show you guys the state of um, why. We haven't come in Ross yet. There's not a lot of clearance here. This is a pretty big Ross too. Maybe we go to a more local Ross where it's not so busy. I know everything's so expensive in Miami. So we, we could be just dealing with Miami high prices and that's why things aren't on clearance here. So, you know, we're gonna think about the Snow White we saw in toys. Maybe go pick up those Nike t-shirts because those Nike t-shirts were the winners. And kind of take it from there. So we'll probably do another Ross video in a more localized Ross, not in a busy or a high priced area. But if you live in a high priced area, this is what you can expect. Not a lot of clearance, high prices. It's just the state of the economy, it sucks. So we'll check out another one later. Thanks for watching this video, guys. Catch you on the next one.